Happy birthday! Hey, Dad. Hey, Ariel. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Wow, thanks. That means a lot. Come on, blow out the candles. We gotta run. Uh huh. Where are you guys off to? I want to hang out with you on my birthday. Oh, Ariel and I have a bunch of stuff to do. We'll catch you later. A bunny will be here soon to keep you busy. Go on. <laughs> a bunny? Seriously? The worst birthday ever! Woohoo! Who's the birthday girl? Congrats! Ah, this is so sad! <laughs> hey, what's up? Didn't you like it? Ah, who even are you? And you've got clothes just like mine! I'm Alice. I work as a party entertainer for rich kids, but I grew up in an orphanage. I don't get it. You really look like me. Come on. No way. You're right. We're like twins. First time I've seen someone so similar to me. Where's the birthday girl at? Oh. Hey there. Nate, tell me, do me and this girl look alike? She's like my sister. <laughs> oh, it can't be. She's found. Found. Found who? I'll be right back. Meet me near the fireplace room. Didn't, Didn't get, a get a word, word of that. that. I can't believe it. This is like a dream. Is this real? Could it really be her? <laughs> I wonder what my butler was talking about. Eva, I don't know how to tell you this. Just spell it already, and what have you got there? Phew, okay. It seems that Alice is your twin sister. What? what? Is, is this, this a prank? prank? Look, you even talk the same. Check it out. And who are these? Some babies in diapers? It's you. Here's Eva, and here is Alice. This can't be. I'm an orphan. I don't have parents. When you were born, you had a mom and dad. But then they split up, and mom took Alice. This is crazy. I don't remember any of that. I grew up in an orphanage. How did I end up there then? Um, no idea. Oh, wow. Give me your hands. Incredible. You even have matching birthmarks. Oh, my. I always had a sister. And I never knew? Oh, oh. Pinch me! This has to be a dream! I met an orphan! I have a family! Uh, I'm so glad you're back, Alice! <laughs> Nate, Alice, let's not tell Dad that Alice has been found. I want him to admit about the sister himself. But I want to see him! I want to hug him! Alice, please, let's wait a bit before we tell him about you. Let's see how long Dad will lie. What if I didn't see anything? All right, let's do it that way then. Here's a business card for the orphanage. Drop by, I'll be waiting. Whew, I need a day off. Haven't hung out with the fam at all. Oh man. <clears throat> hey dad, I got something for you. Oh, figured out your birthday plans yet? Go on. Nah, not feeling it. Uh, but this night? I had a dream where I had a sis and she was so real like my twin <laughs> sounds like a great dream kiddo yeah yeah but imagine if it were true founding out I have a sister <laughs> well consider it done my wife's daughter she's She's like a sister to you. She's such a little troublemaker. Honey, been thinking. We need a new place. Yay! New house, here we come! <laughs> a new house? We've got this one. Cindy needs her space. Her own room with a closet. Uh -huh. Bit much, don't you think? Eva, zip it. Oh, all right, enough. Ariel... If Cindy needs more space, let's switch rooms, okay? I want her room! Give me Eva's room! Are you serious? Oh, that's a great idea! 
that, darling. Can't we do that? Ah, <sighs> sure thing. You're my wife. You call the shots on who goes where. Seriously? Oh, it's my room, Dad. Whose side are you on? <laughs> <sighs> Eva, you're practically an adult and you'll be off to college soon. Cindy is growing up. She needs space. Honey, you're the best. Let's go toss Eva's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Dad's lost it. Doing this on my birthday. <laughs> Teddy, guess what? I've got a twin. Mrs. Cassie looks like Alice is going crazy. Yeah, she all right? Leave me be. What's it to you what I'm up to? Kids, it's probably just Alice's favorite toy, that's all. Oh, lunchtime. Everyone to the dining hall, quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no appetite at all. Psst, 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 psst. Alice? Eva, you're here! Whoa! Of course, you're my sis. Can I meet dad now? Uh, Though he probably doesn't even remember me. So, here's the thing. Dad's got a new wife, Ariel. She's pretty mean. And she's got a daughter, Cindy. Wow, so we're gonna have such a big fam! Yay! Alice, are you listening? Ariel's a witch! If she finds out about you, she'll kick you out! Oh, what should I do? How about we get rid of her first and then you meet dad, deal? Wow, okay, I'm in, of course. Oh, I haven't had breakfast with all this news. I've got a burger stash somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it seems inedible, it's cardboard. It's the orphanage's special, try it. <laughs> Tastes surprisingly good. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious, sis. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's kick out my, I mean, our stepmom. Burger on the way. <gasps> oh, Mrs. Ariel, what's the plan here? We're kicking Eva out. Cindy's taking over this room now. So come on, Butler, hustle up. I need my room pronto. There she goes, Mimi. Whoa, what's happening over there? <gasps> away my stuff! Hey, Eva, don't <laughs> cry. I'll help you out. Mom, let's just kick Eva out for good. My princess? Sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Alice, sit tight. I'm coming. Daddy! Uh, 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 Eva, what's the commotion? They're tossing out my stuff! Dad, did you really let them do this? Oh, Eva, we talked about this. You're overreacting again. Huh? This is so unfair! Ariel wants what's best, and I know that for sure. <sighs> I'll show those two who's boss. <sighs> Nate, quit standing around. Get those things out quick. Move it, move it, you're so slow! And you still have to put together my new bed! <laughs> <laughs> now you see why I don't want to talk about her. Ariel's always got some scheme up her sleeve. What a wicked stepmom. I wonder, I wonder what was, what our, was real our real mom, mom like. like? Oh, here we go again, finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> I can't remember my mom and why she decided to send me to an orphanage. Was it really necessary to have twins and then separate us? I hope we'll never be apart again. Oh, wait, it's my birthday today. Yeah, I showed up in a bunny costume this morning to wish you a happy birthday. That's not it. It's your birthday, too. We were born on the same day. Oh, crazy. <laughs> Honestly, I hate this day. Even at the orphanage, they forgot to wish me happy birthday today. All right, then I'll make sure to celebrate with you. What do you want? I'll do anything. I want to hug Dad and try ice cream. 
Well, we'll deal with dad later. And I'll sort out the ice cream for you. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> this ice cream's so good! I'll polish off a whole box just to make sure Eva gets none. Eva, are you sure about this? Absolutely. I've always wanted to get back at that little troublemaker. And now's our chance. Let's do it. Come on. Ah, what's happening? Ah, bugs! Bugs! Help us! <laughs> <laughs> she got a real scare. That's our birthday entertainment. <laughs> And here's the ice cream I promised. Mmm, <laughs> it's so yummy. My first ice cream. <laughs> box, 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 ah! Eva, you around? Oh, where in the world am I? Is this my dad's office? It is. That's him. I really want to hug him. Man, how do I patch things up between Ariel and Eva? My new wife's not vibing with her at all. Huh, I wonder why. She's really good. Maybe I should haul them to a therapist? Hmm. Where's Alice? <gasps> yeah, sweetie? I feel terrible. Oh, you're you're sick? I swear I had some pills lying around. Might do the trick. Uh, Dad, forget the pills. We need a dog stat. All right, I'll <laughs> ring him up right away. Eva, I'm sorry. Alice, what's up? You almost botched our plan. When I saw Dad, I just wanted to be near him. Couldn't help it. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Just a tad more. We gotta shake off Ariel. Wish we could hook up Dad with some hottie. Listen, my nanny from the orphanage, she's gorgeous. Let's set her up with our dad. Hmm, not sure. But hey, it might be worth a shot. Then I'll go scheme how to reel her in here. Go for it, I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Casey, listen up. What's the deal? Remember when I was working as an entertainer there? Yeah, I remember. They've got a complaint against me. They want to chat with my guardian, aka you. Alice, what have you gotten yourself into? Come on, let's hustle. <laughs> Nailed it. She bought it. Now we just got to stick to the plan we cooked up with Eva. Alice, let's go. Where's Alice with her nanny? Did she forget about me? Eva, the doctor can't come here. We'll have to go to the hospital ourselves. Uh, Dad, no, 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 no. I'm feeling better already. What are you saying? You look very pale. Chris, I can't stand this house anymore. Let's buy a new one. Ariel, not now. I'm taking Eva to the hospital right now. What hospital? Getting a new house is more important than this Eva. Ariel, let's discuss it later. Wait, wait, wait. We don't need to go anywhere. Let's just stay home. Oh, my gosh. What's he fussing over with this Eva? Drama queen. He'd better pay attention to my Cindy. They're waiting for us. Dr. Jordan will check Why you out. What is happening? Dad, I really am feeling better. All right, let's go. Get in. This house. Eva lives here. She didn't like how I congratulated her. Everything will be fine. We'll apologize and you won't be working anymore. Yeah, yeah. Let's just go already. Dang it. I forgot my driver's license. Um, uh, wait for me. Ouch! Oh, my leg! An arm! Darn! We got caught! Sorry, Mrs. Casey, but they shouldn't see me here. Oh, uh, what have I done? I didn't even see you approaching the car. You should pay attention. Uh, looks like you have bruises. Let me take you to the hospital. I'm actually heading there. No, it's not necessary. I have other things to do. Ouch! Although, no, better go to the hospital. All right, come oh. on. Sit down, then I'll help. Uh. Ouch! I hope it's not a serious bruise or how will I take care of the kids. Oh, 
Alice, is that your nanny, Casey? Darn it, but I didn't plan it like that. We wanted to get them together at home. Actually, this is even better. They went together and nobody will disturb them while Ariel and Cindy are at home. By the way, how's our plan to get rid of them going? The plan is still on, sis. <laughs> <laughs> Hey there, Cindy. How's it going? Ooh, alike. <laughs> Who are you two? And why do you guys look so alike? <clears throat> That's all in your head. Seriously, you didn't recognize your Ooh. own sister, Eva? You're not Eva, or are you? Oh, man! <laughs> Your troublemaker! You're gonna be toast now! Ooh! Uh, help me, somebody! Who called for help? She, she did! did. Uh, who are you? Ah! Oh, save the ghost! Catch them! Oh! The ghosts? Ah! Oh, save me too! I'm freaking out! Nate, seriously? You didn't recognize us? Of course I did! I was just playing along! Ah! Just so you know, you didn't see any ghosts! We're moving on to finish our plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Clearly, sisters. My, oh my. How'd you end up with those bruises? It was an accident. I just, uh... Doc, it was me. Tripped and fell on my own. Uh, really? All by yourself? Yup. But Mr. Chris helped me out and drove me to the hospital. Um, Doc, uh, how serious is it? Well, ain't too serious, but you need to take it easy. No sudden moves, okay? I'll keep an eye on her. I'll prescribe some ointment now. And Cassie, you'll hang around here till evening. We'll keep an eye on ya. <sighs> oh no, but I gotta work at the orphanage. What do the kiddos do without me? I'm gonna have to ring up Tina to fill in for me. Cassie, sorry again. I'm such a klutz. No worries, I'm at fault too. I wasn't watching where I was going. Um, if you need anything, give me a shout. I'll bring you whatever you need, okay? I'm gonna get it. Oh, I feel kinda awkward. Thanks a bunch. I gotta make up for this accident, no sweat. So rest up here, I'll cover the bills, okay? Guy got it. <laughs> Stepmom got herself in a mess. She's gonna learn not to mess with me. Yeah, no one ever got out of that trap clean. <laughs> You came up with a cool plan. We used to pull stuff like this on the dumb kids all the time. <laughs> uh, so you're saying we plaster this on the stepmom? You bet. Let's do it. This is going to be so epic. <laughs> all right. Ready to roll? Uh-huh. Ariel! I stepped on your heels and busted them up! Ah! What? Ah! What the heck? Where'd this come from? Ah! Oh, get you, nasty girl! Eva! Wow, this is even better than I thought. Hide, she can't spot you. Oh, 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 scared me! <laughs> What's up? Ariel, you look kind of off. Chris, get Eva out of here. She shouldn't be living with us. And why is that? She freaked me out with ghosts. It was super scary. And that nasty snake <laughs> smeared me with ketchup and set traps. Ariel, don't you dare call my daughter that. She was just messing around. Oh, yeah? Then choose either me or her. I choose Eva. Fine. Cindy and I are out of here. And I'm filing for divorce. Fine, whatever. You won't be getting any more of my cash. Come on, Cindy. Let's fail. Oh, Mom, I don't want to. Eva, did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we nailed it. That Ariel is getting the boot from my place. Oh, well, our place is... <laughs> Still can't believe it. I've got you. Guess it's time to meet Donna. Think you'll be thrilled. Ready to go? Hang on. Maybe not right now. Feeling kind of jittery. Don't think I'm up for it. What? But you've been dreaming about this. Right now, I just want to find mom. Figure out why she ditched me. Left me in an orphanage. Hmm. 
then that's what we gotta do. But how? What a day to celebrate! Enjoy, girls! These are for you! Thanks! These, These are, are my are faves! My faves. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd love them! Nate, where can we find our mom? <sighs> oh, I don't even know. We lost touch with her after she split with your dad. We really gotta find her. Where can we get more info? Oh, head to the hospital. Maybe they might have some birth records and your mom's contact info. Nate, you're the best butler ever. <laughs> hey there, we need your help. Uh, sure thing, what's up? Let's get you checked out right away. Actually, we've got a bit of a different issue. Yeah, we're on a hunt for our mom. She delivered us in this hospital 15 years back. And now we're itching to find out where she's at. Maybe there's a phone number or some address stashed away. Well, you know, this ain't free, you know? Uh... Money is no problem. Here, take this. <sighs> wow. Okay, I'll help you out. Let me dig through the archives, okay? Give me a second. Thanks. We'll hang out outside then. <laughs> ha! Who told them to go searching for their mom in the hospital? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> well, we'll figure something out. <sighs> Fingers crossed this all pans out. Oh hey, check it out! That's my old nanny from the orphanage sitting over there. Oh, wow, it is. I didn't recognize who came up to her. Can't see too well, I guess. Dad, Chris, is that him? What the? All right, here I am. And this bouquet is for the lady I accidentally bumped with the car door. Well, thanks. But what brings you here? I didn't ring you up, and I'm good. No need for anything. Just thought I'd swing by. Still feeling guilty, you know? Oh, I'm flattered. But no need to beat yourself up. <sighs> Eva! Seems like we didn't think this through when we wanted to introduce them. Yeah, let's not jump the gun. Maybe Dad's just paying her a visit. Oh, uh, ladies? <gasps> <gasps> it's you. Uh, who else? By the way, I found your mom's address in the archives. Wow, is that really her address? You betcha. Got everything here. Phone number, other deeds. Oh, thanks a bunch. You're helping bring the family back together. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey there, Christy. <gasps> Who are you? Don't freak out. It seems you're our mom. No way. So you were married to this guy, right? Yeah, that's Chris, my ex-husband. Mom? Oh, I found you. You two are my twins. Yep. Oh, my babies. Forgive me. I'm such a mess. Mom, you have no clue how much I've missed you. What have I done? Left Chris with Alice, and then she ended up in an orphanage. I'm sorry, Alice. Mom, it's me, Alice. I haven't seen you in ages. Can barely remember. Feel so guilty in front of you, my little girl. <laughs> Mom, come with us. Let's head home. You'll see dad. Girls, I can't do that now. Let's do it another time. I need to sort myself out, but we can keep in touch. Come visit me whenever you want. Mom, maybe you'll change your mind later. No, no, I can't. I really can't. I look horrible. I can't show up in front of Chris like that. And I don't even have any cash. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I can hook you up with as much cash as you might need. Oh, my little one. Thank you. <laughs> when you decide to come with us, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freaking out. We actually found mom. And dad and mom. How do we get mom to come here? Beats me. And explain everything to dad too? And get acquainted with him? <coughs> oh, something's scratching my throat. I'll grab some water for the night. <coughs> Wonder how dad Chris will react to me being here. Hey, can I come in? Oh darn, it's dad. <sighs> oh, you're already tucked in. Good, good for you. I came to have a chat. You cool with that? Uh -uh. 
Remember when you asked about a sister or a brother? If you had anyone? Mm -hmm. I fib to you. I'm tired of this. You should know, you've got a real sister, Alice's twin. But your mom took her away. I don't even know where she is now. <laughs> or how to find her. I don't know. Dad, no need to hunt anyone down. I'm here. <gasps> what? How's that possible? Alice, are you? <laughs> what the way? <laughs> Dad, I kind of stumbled into being here. Met Eva and bam, we figured out we're sisters. <laughs> Uh, have you seen her yet? <laughs> Girls, I'm sorry. Sorry for lying and not being straight with you. We're a proper family now, sticking together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting Alice slip away anymore. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> <laughs> well, where have we ended up? Dad, you're in for a surprise. Brace yourself. But I think you'll be pleased. Uh, what's the plan now? Hey there! Oh, um, hi! Dad, ring any bells? Uh, nope. Who's this? Dad, has our mom changed that much in 15 years that you don't recognize her? Uh, this isn't your mom. Your mom's got a different look. She was a blonde. Oh? So who's this then? Think it's time for me to chat, girls? I think I messed up! You're not my daughters! Later! Oh, no! She played us! Seriously? And she even took some cash from us! Where's, Where's our, our mom? mom? Girls, who sent you to her in the first place? A doctor, a doctor from, from the, the hospital! <sighs> hey there, Donnie! We couldn't quite pull off scamming that family for a big payout! Dang! What happened? It was the perfect plan for you to play their mom! Yeah, but things didn't go as planned! Alright, let's brainstorm how else to scam someone! So how do we find a mom? A real mom? I don't know. It seems like it's impossible now. <laughs> Guys, you won't believe this. Yesterday I hit up all the agencies. All of them. Why though? Well, obviously, to find your mom! And to get the real address, not some fake one like the doc gave us. And did you find anything? Seems like it. Here's the envelope, should have all the info we need. Eva, open it quick. Let's see where mom is. I hope that's gonna help. So, what's the deal? No, not this. What do you mean? Our My mom's, mom's gone. gone. She's, She's not, not alive. alive. What? She passed away two years ago? That's terrible. I had no clue. Dad, we won't ever see her again. I will never know why she put me in the orphanage. <laughs> Girls, we, we can't change anything now. We just gotta keep building our happy life. We're in this to together. Dad, we gotta get Alice's papers from the orphanage, now that she's got a dad. Yeah, you're right. I'll head over there right away. <laughs> Mrs. Cassie, <gasps> you're back! We've missed you like crazy. Uh, missed you guys, too. Hey, what happened to your leg? Oh, nothing much. Just a little injury. I'll survive. By the way, where's Alice? Can't seem to spot her. Alice gave us candy so we wouldn't spill the beans. She's off somewhere by herself. Lily, that was supposed to be a secret. Oh, we gotta call the cops, like now. Uh, um. Cassie, got a sec? Oh, Chris, what brings you here? Let's bounce. Seems like we're intruding. Um... Guess what? I just found out that my daughter Alice has been here all this time. So Alice found her real fam? I was freaking out, about to call 911. She's good. She's home. I'm just here to grab her docs. <sighs> if Alice is really yours, then sure, you can have all her paperwork. And hey, feels like fate didn't bring us together for nothing. What are you getting at? Uh, how about swinging by for a visit? 
I think Alice would flip if she saw her favorite nanny from the orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> so where's Dad? Time to celebrate the family reunion. Eva, you're the best sister. Uh, I'm thrilled for you girls. And here we are. Mrs. Casey, what are you doing here? Uh, Cassie's joining us for lunch. Go on. Eva, what if Dad's fallen for my teacher? What then? That'd be cool. I think Casey's really nice. Girls, cut it out. We can hear you, you know. <gasps> Oops. Just so you know, I wouldn't mind if you two were together too. Nate, get out of here. Ariel, what are you doing here? I filed for divorce. You shouldn't be coming here anymore. I'll come here. This is my home, too. I don't get it. Since when is this your home? And why'd you bring a doctor here? I'm not a doctor anymore. I'm Ariel's lawyer now. And we're taking this house from you. And kicking you all out of here. No way. This can't be happening. Look. That's the doctor who gave us our mom's fake address. Well, since this house was bought during the marriage, according to the docs, it also belongs to Ariel. Oh, so you deliberately wanted to squeeze money out of my daughters, and now you want to take the house too? What a nightmare! What, what are, are we, we gonna, gonna do? do? Dad! I'll deal with her in court. Yes, they won't get this house. Sis, will you help? Of course. Wow, got some feisty daughters here. <laughs> Forgotten how to act, huh? I'll never let Alice go anywhere. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Alice! Ah, he messed me up. I did it. You, you tangled me up. <laughs> no. Ah, you remembered that one. Alice, what a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and here I was wondering why she suddenly went all quiet. I don't know how to tell you. I thought you were joking. <laughs> Ariel means well, I know that for sure. <sighs> what was that? Well, she's a good one. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Even looked into the camera there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Is your mother crazy? Ah, so pregnancy affects her like that? Mm, what pleasure! I could just eat the pavement! Enough already! You really annoy me! Dad, don't yell at mom, she can get nervous. I don't care! This idiot is ruining my mood! I've had enough! I'm filing for divorce! Why, Dad? I can't tolerate her behavior! I want her to go far away! Dad, don't do that! I'll complain to the police! You can leave too! Stop ruining our lives, you psychos! Dad, stop! Don't! Dad! No, where are you going? Get in! Uh. Stop! Zach, don't leave me! Back off! <laughs> Mommy, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> Nate, how are you going to get money? 
I don't know, Eve only invests in businesses where the owner has a family. Well, if you don't have a family, you'll be a homeless person without money. Ow! Nate, calm down, I'm your friend, I'll help you. Harry, Alice, come here quickly. I gave you a task. Have you figured out where I can find a family? Here, a mother and a child. We did everything you asked. You're completely stupid. Ah! I need a real family. Mr. Nate, don't. Ow. Why did we ever agree to work for him? I must help Nate find a family. Mom, what should we do? If I only knew. Uh, why in the world did we come to this cafe? Dad didn't leave us a penny. Maybe they'll feed us. My baby and I also want to eat. Hello, did you reserve a table? No. Melanie, can we have some food for free? We're in trouble. My dad kicked me and my pregnant mom out. <laughs> well, you're losers. We have no money. Please help us. Listen here. This isn't a homeless shelter. Get out. <laughs> Here's the living room. Mr. Nate will come see you now. Ugh, what's with this barn? Why did we come here? Mom, there is no golden sofa here. And here's Mr. Nate and his friend Ariel. Nate, here's your new family for a week. Well, it's something. Hmm, your millionaire doesn't look very rich. Mm -hmm. But not bad. Handsome. Hmm. Uh, we prepared gifts for you. These are all the little bags for you. Ah! Great gifts! <gasps> what is this? The latest collection? Well, yes. It just came yesterday. We don't wear such old stuff, got it? Who did you bring into the house? Nate, you want to get money, don't you? This is a famous Insta-blogger and her daughter. They're just right for you. Ariel, you really- Hey, you, servant! Yes? Quickly, uh, get rid of this sofa. And order a golden one here and a bedspread with rhinestones and diamonds. <laughs> How dare you! What's wrong? We're your new family. Daddy, give us money! I want to go to the Maldives! That is enough! Ariel, quickly get these crazies out of my house! <sighs> but you need a family, don't you? I definitely don't need idiots like that! <laughs> if you don't want to kick them out, then I'll do it myself! <gasps> it's so hard! I don't even know where to go! Everyone is kicking us out! It's hard for me right now, too! I can't carry this stupid stroller anymore! Hang in there, daughter! Maybe we'll find some shelter and be able to spend the night there! I hate our dad! He's terrible! And because of him, we're now wandering the streets! Let's take a rest! It's hard for me to walk with this belly! Wow! What a big, beautiful house! We'll definitely never live in a place like that. Our destiny is to be homeless. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, let's go inside and take a look. Ah, Cindy, we can't go into other people's houses. They will put us in jail. Nate, please forgive me. I didn't think those girls would be so dumb. Uh, great. Eva will arrive in a couple of hours and I still don't have a family. Uh, let's say your wife and kids are on vacation. I've already said that ten times. It won't work this time. I still don't understand what kind of family you need. Wow, what a house. And who is this? Oh, I don't know. She looks really dirty. Hmm. Cindy! Aren't you ashamed? Why did you run in there? How awful. Excuse me, my daughter accidentally came in here. And what's wrong with you? My husband.
husband kicked us out onto the street. I'm in the last month of pregnancy, and now we have nowhere to live. But we're leaving. Goodbye. Hey, don't you want to stay with me? I need a family for a week. What? Sir, are you completely crazy? I'll pay you $100,000. <gasps> uh, not enough? $300,000. We agree. we agree! Come in. Alice will tell you everything. Nate, they don't look anything like your family. We'll dress them up, clean them up, and it's done. This woman is even pregnant. I'll definitely get the money. Why do I have to mop the floors? It's not fair. Well, son, how are you doing? Honestly, I miss mom. She's out there somewhere on the street with my sister. Those two idiots just ruined our lives, and your mom wanted to put you up for adoption. What? Are you kidding? And she also said that you're the worst child in the world. Yikes. How could she? <laughs> you know, it's good that you kicked her out. Now you're a good kid. And after you mop the floors, wash the dishes. But that silence. Hello, I'm delivering advertisements and inviting you to the new store. Miss, can I ask if you have a boyfriend? Why do you ask? I see that you're so charming. Maybe we can go somewhere, take a walk? <laughs> Dad, are you serious? Son, don't interrupt. <sighs> so you haven't even divorced mom yet and now you want a new wife? Uh, so you have a wife? Excuse me, but I have to go now. Here, check the flyer. Miss, just a moment. Tyler, get out of here quickly and don't interfere with my personal what? life! Dad, go on! <laughs> now we need to dress you up a bit. Emphasize Christy's beauty. Oh, I feel a bit awkward. Do you really think I'm beautiful? Uh, of course. I wish I had a wife as pretty as you for real. Alright, let's get to work. Wow, what a cool dress! I've always dreamed of something like this! $50,000, what? Hey, put it back! Don't touch such expensive things! Let her take it. I'll pay for everything. <laughs> Christy, you can also choose something for yourself. Thank you! You're wonderful people! But I don't need anything! I'd rather choose things for the future baby! Ah, great! We'll buy a new stroller! This one! It seems to be the most expensive! Oh! Maybe we shouldn't! I don't have that much money! You don't need anything! It's a gift! <gasps> wow! Look at these shoes! <laughs> <laughs> Cindy, take whatever you like. <laughs> Your Honor, may I? What's the matter? Come in. Ow. Uh, I want to file for divorce from my wife. She beats my son. Uh, yes, yes, my mom is very mean. So dreadful. Did she really do that? Uh, yes, yes. My mom torments me. My whole body's covered in bruises. If your mother is really like that, we will definitely need to terminate her parental rights. Here, fill out the application. I'll bring the questionnaire now. <sighs> Dad, are we being too cruel? Son, we'll receive compensation for it. Great plan. Mr. Nate, you can come in. <gasps> I've never seen a room like this before. Cindy, this room is for you. You will live here. Really? Wow! Yay, Mr. Nate! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I don't really know. Maybe you don't play with toys anymore, but I decided to decorate my room like this. Mr. Nate, I wish you were my real dad! <laughs> That's for sure. I will never have a husband like him. <laughs> Mrs. Christie, why are you crying? Did something upset you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't believe it. It's like a fairy tale. You did more in a day than my <laughs> husband did in 15 years. <laughs> but now you have a different life. 
I will help you as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I won't stop expressing my gratitude to you. Huh? <gasps> what happened? Phew, it seems it was just false contractions. All right, we don't want the baby to be born prematurely. We still need to meet with the partner. Alice! Bring me some lobster with truffle macaroni. On my way. Wow, let's all eat and go for a walk. <laughs> uh, sorry, but I need to prepare for Eva's arrival. That partner I mentioned. Uh, you can start getting ready too. Daughter, get off the bed. Let's go for a walk. It's important for the future baby. Ah, Mom, it's so great to be at Mr. Nate's place. Yes, I didn't expect everything to turn out like this. We'll have to live in a millionaire's house for a week. That's so cool! Dad and Tyler will be jealous! <laughs> but let's make an agreement! They won't find out about it! <laughs> Daddy, look who's sitting here! <laughs> oh ho! Homeless beggars! <laughs> Go wherever you are going! We specifically came to you! We wanted to make fun of the miserable ones! <laughs> are you still finding it funny? Uh -huh. What about the fact that Mom and I are left alone on the street with no money or food? It's your fault for losing your mind. <laughs> uh huh. One constantly screams with her false contractions, and now the other one just asks for money. You jerk! <laughs> How could I ever marry you? I'm carrying your child, and you can still say such things. I do not care about this child. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa, mommy! <laughs> What are you doing? I'll tell Mr. Nate and he'll take care of you quickly! <laughs> who is he? <laughs> the millionaire who sheltered us! He paid a lot of money and you'll just stay dumb! Oh, who is this millionaire? Dad, I was joking! Forget it! Ah, quick check before Eva arrives. Ariel, when did we meet Christy? 15 years ago. Awesome. Harry, how do we spend time with the family? Well, you don't have a family at all. You constantly play tennis. Harry, don't be stupid or I'll fire you. Ah, you spend weekends with the family riding horses. Excellent. But I don't understand. Where are Christy and Cindy? Christy wasn't feeling well, but I've already given instructions. They'll be dressed and brought here. Terrible. I hope she's feeling better now and will come down. And here I am. Ah, Eva, darling, you're already here. I hope you brought my millions. Yes, but first, I want to finally meet your family. They'll be here any moment. Oh, here they are. I fell in love with who I thought wow. you were. Cindy, let's go downstairs. Mom, I'm scared. Christy, and this is my daughter, Cindy. <laughs> Nate, you are such beautiful girls, and you didn't want to introduce me. Uh, um... Let's go to the table. Let's have lunch already. <laughs> Nate, the table looks amazing. It's all Alice is doing, and my wife, Christy, helped her. <laughs> what a beautiful family you have, and soon there'll be an addition. Uh, yes. We're so excited for our little one. Uh, what will it be? A girl. A boy. Uh, how's that? Well, my parents don't know yet. They decided not to find out the baby's gender until birth. <laughs> That's cool. It'll be a surprise then. <sighs> Cheers to your family. Oh, <sighs> I have a call. I'll leave you for a moment. I don't understand. Who is this guy near my wife? Dad, you actually want to divorce mom? <laughs> that does not give her the right to hang out with some rich dude. Hello. Yeah. Did the company give permission? Oh, here comes this idiot. I'll deal with him now. Yeah. Uh, uh, who are you? What difference does it make? Oh, I'll beat you up right now if you approach Christy again. Got it? Ah, uh, security! Get here quickly! Mr. Knight, I'll save you! Uh, 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 
dad! Oh, uh, let's get out of here! Thanks, Alice. Good thing you saved me from these <laughs> lunatics. Everyone stand still. Mr. Nate, you called? You can go, thanks. Alice already saved me. I might just give her your position. <laughs> go. Phew, Eva left. How cool! It seems she didn't suspect anything, and she really believed that Christy and Cindy are your family. Honestly, I didn't think we could pull it off. We don't look as good as you do. Uh, Christy, you and Cindy were amazing. Thank you. I'll go prepare the documents. I think Eva will call now and say she's giving you 10 million. Christy, maybe you want something to eat or maybe go somewhere? No, no, I don't want anything. I feel a bit weak. I'd better stay here. Uh, Mr. Nate, I want to ask. Uh, well, you have such a cool painting. Can I have one too? Uh, unfortunately, this painting is unique. It's priceless. Darn it! Too bad. It's so cool. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Cindy, what have you done? Are you out of your mind? I won't be able to buy the same painting now. How are you so clueless? Mr. Nate, why would you say that? Who <laughs> gave you the right to speak to my daughter like that? After everything I've done for you. How dare you behave like this? You are no one to her! Just because you picked us up from the street doesn't give you the right to insult Cindy! We refuse to be your family! Cindy, we're leaving! You... What? How? Christy? What is happening? Well, here we are again, back on the streets. Mom, I'm sorry, it's all my fault! Sweetie, it's not your fault. I won't let anyone hurt you. Huh, we need to find something soft. We need something to sleep on. Maybe we can sell these clothes. Who would want them? Oh, I can't climb into the dumpster. My belly is in the way. How about you? Ew, come on, Mom. This is rough. Oh. That's what we need. Dad, look, these two are back at the garbage dump. Well, how's it going? Back <laughs> off! <laughs> oh, I see your millionaire, whoever he is, dumped you, right? <laughs> None of your business! We were just out for a walk! Oh, yeah, we'll keep walking. <laughs> you can find something in our bags, too. <laughs> Dad, I hate you! <laughs> uh, uh, oh, when the baby is born, they'll definitely take them to an orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> What have I done? I hurt pregnant Christy. I'm left without a temporary family. That's it. Goodbye, 10 million. Mr. Nate, I brought you some tea. Drink it. It will make you feel better. Alice, can you do something useful instead? <laughs> I'm sorry. Nate, I don't recognize you. You've become so aggressive. Uh, what have I done? Nate! What's going on? I found Christy and Cindy on the street near the dumpsters. Hey, Eva. Well, they decided to do a trendy campaign. What campaign? Nate, are you lying to me? Uh, the girls just decided to experience life as poor people and help the homeless. Christy, Cindy, is that true? Yes, it's true. We need to help the homeless. <sighs> I had already imagined my own version. Oh, but all right. We'll sign the documents tomorrow. See you then. Horrible. I thought you were caught. Girls, I'm so sorry. I'm such a fool. That's an understatement. I won't hurt you anymore. Do you want me to pay you twice as much? Just don't leave. Haven't you understood yet? Money isn't the most important thing. Just treat us with respect. Please forgive me. I understand everything now. Cindy. Let's go. I'll buy you some makeup. Yay! <laughs> Hello? Speaking? Ugh. This is gross. 
We really need to get her a new phone. She'll be caught. <laughs> what? Impossible! Christy, what's wrong? I just received a call from the court. They're going to terminate my parental rights for my son. I have to appear in court. <laughs> Christy, don't worry. I'll go with you. And where are our core participants? Uh, well, we're already here. Your son won't have a mother to claim parental rights anymore. Well, that's great. The woman who wanted to give me up to an orphanage can't be my mother. <laughs> Hello? Hmm, look who showed up. <gasps> Ouch! Let go of my hand, you jerk! Listen here, you know some millionaire, right? Well, if you want Cindy to stay with you, have him give me some cash. I don't have any money! And if I did, I wouldn't give it to you anyway! <laughs> Let's begin the session! Sorry for the delay. <laughs> Honorable judge, I believe this woman should be deprived of parental rights for both... Cindy and Tyler. Please explain. This party rat mother found a millionaire. He threw her in the trash and she came back, thus harming my daughter. Yeah, it was him who threw us out of the car and he wanted to feed us garbage. See? She's turned Cindy against me too. Uh -huh, a terrible mother. Uh -huh. I have made my decision. The court's decision as follows. Okay, Christy is no longer the mother of Tyler. We'll consider the case regarding Cindy in the near future. What a nightmare. <gasps> oh, what's going on? Please, don't do this. I love my children. <laughs> Me, I think she's feeling her well. Come on, Mommy. <laughs> Christy, I will do my best to help. your baby if they don't take them away too I'll use all my connections I'm sure everything <laughs> will be fine let's distract ourselves and play a game now I'm really not in the mood for games right now Christy but at least you won't have to worry about the bad things I'll call Cindy and we'll have fun Cindy right foot on yellow done Christy right hand on red I can't! My belly is in the way! <laughs> Mom, you're like a bear! <laughs> I will help! <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey! You're great at this! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Let's take a photo! This is a family after all! And we have no pictures! <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a real family! <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. We've already discussed everything with Nate, and we'll sign the contract. He has a wonderful family. Hello? Uh, I'll call you back. Uh, hello? And who are you? What do you need? Actually, we came about an important matter. Uh, and what do you want? We're here about your millionaire friend and his family. Uh, spit it out. Christy was my mom, and my dad is her ex-husband. I don't understand anything. You've been lied to. This millionaire doesn't have a family and never did. That can't be. How could he? Hello, Nate. I know everything. You deceived me. I won't give you any money. Goodbye. Now, why are you standing there? Go away. Eva called. She knows everything. And she said she won't give me any money. Not this. How did Eva find out everything? I feel so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know what to do. I need to explain everything. Hello, dear viewers. Scandal among millionaires. Nate deceived his partner. Details coming up. Hello. Nate, please tell us what happened. I won't hide anything. I wanted to impress Eva as a person. And you bought yourself a family? Uh, you could say that. 
I met a nice girl and her daughter. I proposed for them to become my family. Let's invite them to the studio. Oh, I see Christy is pregnant. Hello, I want to say one thing. We want to help this person. We had nowhere to live and everything just fell into place. Well, Dad kicked us out and we didn't have any money for food. Wow, it's all so serious. Camera three, begin filming. I wanted to apologize to my partner, Eva, and most importantly to Christy. Uh, I dragged them into this. Nate, we understand everything. Uh, and I also realized that I love you. <gasps> Turn on camera four, quickly. Marry me. Nate, I agree. What? <laughs> How's that possible? Uh, I'll give you a villa <laughs> and anything you want. Just don't leave. <laughs> this is shock content. Nate, I don't need a villa or money. I need this. My son, Tyler, if you can hear me, I love you. I'll give you everything. Just come back. <laughs> oh, wow. This millionaire proposed to Christy? Huh. And mom said she loves me. That's not true. Maybe there won't be a wedding at all, and it's just another lie. Uh, you know what? I think I'll go to mom. What? Have you already forgotten that she wanted to put you in a foster home? Well, that's what you told me, not mom. Ow! Well, then go. You'll beg to come back later. Little sister, wait up! Get lost! I don't want to talk to you! Forgive me, please. Ah, is it that easy? You and dad kicked me and mom out. You left when we ran after the car. I don't know what got into me. Then dad said that you were bad and I believed it. Go on, go to that horrible man and believe him. Darling, <laughs> you can Mom, I'm so stupid. I'm sorry for everything. I'm ashamed. You understand that it's not my fault. That's the most important <laughs> thing. Mom, kick him out. Let him go far away and we'll live with the millionaire Nate. No, all my children will stay with me. Let's go. You'll meet Nate. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you and Christy will be together. Thank you for helping. You're a true friend. Nate, I want you to get to know my son better. He understands everything and wants to stay with us. Well, all right, let him sit. Hopefully he really changed his mind. Thank you so much. Well, congratulations on your new family. <laughs> Everyone freeze! I've come to take my children! Cindy, Tyler, come here quickly! Leave with me or you'll regret it! It seems like attractions! Our mom is going into labor! Quickly! To the hospital! Hooray! I have a little brother! Christy, this is for you! Now we have three children! Nate, I can't believe you accepted them all! Uh, I will love them as my own. Hooray! We're a big happy family! Yay! <laughs> uh, what about Dad? Don't worry. Security guard Harry already took care of him. That Zack didn't even have a real gun. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, open up and let me out! I will still take all the children back. <laughs> Zack, calm down already. They have a new family, and they'll quickly forget about you. No! My little ones, I love them! Oh. Anyway! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm delivering advertisements and inviting you to the news store. Here, here. Uh, miss. <laughs> Both on Tyler and on Cindy. <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> <Thank you. laughs> on me, on me, you were supposed to apologize. <laughs> Mrs. Nate. Mrs. Nate. <laughs> I'm confused. What are you looking at? I was looking there. Mr. Chris, I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, she's not crying. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I have a younger brother! Yeah. Christy, <laughs> this is. <laughs> I'm saying, let's go. You're saying, maybe. Let's find a disco. You're stuck at home being so. Ooh, what's going on Whoa. here? You are keeping the whole campus awake. Whoa. Whoa. Easy there, Kevin.
Get out. Woo! The entire campus is already here. <sighs> you guys better scram. Daytime buzz kills. Whoa! Don't wreck our nighttime party. Oh, really? Daytime buzz kills? Darling, calm down. <gasps> hey! hey! What's, What's the, the deal? deal? You decided to crash my party? Yep. I ain't going anywhere. Uh, all right, enough with the bickering. Uh, Why did you come here to hassle us? Because all the normal folks are sleeping now, and so should we. Cassie, come on. Let's, let's go, go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fine, hit the road, losers. I'll get back at them for ruining the fun. How are we supposed to party now without music? Oh. Uh, uh, oh, we won't let him sleep anyway. Ha <laughs> 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 Good morning, classmates. Get enough sleep? Get lost, party pooper. Nope, no sleep for you guys. Time to start a brand new day. We're wiped out. We partied all night. Gonna have to perk you up. Hot cocoa for everyone! <gasps> Hooray! <laughs> yes! Oh, give me one! Oh. That's actually helping a lot! Now let's get moving! Ten jumps on the jump rope! And you won't be sleepy anymore! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sleepy! <laughs> The rest of you follow my lead. <laughs> Why are these day folks here? Hey, they woke up the whole gang. Ugh, and me too. They need to scram. Why are Tina and Zach snoozing? It's their fault everyone's groggy. All right, rise and shine. Get up and do your exercises. Ugh, you people are crazy! Who made you the boss around here? Cause it's daytime now, duh. And this is our time, you dimwit. You'll pay for calling me a dimwit. Hands off, Cassie! <gasps> Get lost! Idiot! If you touch Tina again, I'll snap those sunshine rays real quick! Let's go. There you go, we ditched the nighttime slackers. <laughs> Let's keep the exercise going. One, two. Living with these day people is impossible. Totally. They don't sleep and won't let anyone. They mess up our sleep schedules. They're always embarrassing us in front of the whole class. Yeah, we need to show them who's boss at school. Uh, by the way, thanks for having my back. Of course, you're my favorite night owl. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, Casey's way too sassy. It's because Nate is always taking her side. Don't worry, we'll put them in their place. Definitely. We need to figure out... <sighs> wow, this book has some powerful spells in it. Amazing! Check this out. A spell to change day into night? <laughs> cool! Oh my god, I know what to do. Tina, what's your plan already? No time to explain, I'm in a hurry. Tina, you're freaking me out. Hey, Ariel, come over with Kitty to the attic today. I need your help. Wait. I uh, hope she won't do anything crazy. Come on in. Tina, did you call us to do some magic again? <laughs> you bet. You're my devoted fans, my night priestesses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about magic. Let's get started. So, what's the plan for today? Casey and Nate have seriously ticked me off. They think daytime is better than nighttime. Seriously? Want to teach them a lesson? <laughs> yeah. I found this super cool ritual. <laughs> I can't wait. What's the ritual? Casey adores her precious Nate and thinks he'll always be by her side. So I'll just turn Nate into nighttime. <laughs> what? Let's see how she reacts when he becomes a completely different Nate from the one she liked. 
what if it's risky? Forget about it. They always ruin our parties and think they can control campus. As long as no one gets hurt. Oh, let's do it. Day turns into night. White goes to black. I'm getting a little scared! Enough! Keep reading. Let me wake, wake up, up all gloomy and doomed! <gasps> ah! It worked! Now let's head off to sleep. Okay. <sighs> Nate? What happened to him? Why is Zack making such a fuss? It's already morning. <sighs> Nate, what's going on with you? <sighs> Zack, can you not shout so early in the morning? Like, why aren't you sleeping? <sighs> Cassie, I've turned into the night. What do we do now? I turned into day. Ugh. This is clearly some mix-up. Don't freak out. We'll figure it out. Uh. How did this happen? I wanted to transform Nate. Why did Zach transform instead? Darn. It's my birthday today. How am I going to face my friends? Uh, don't worry. It's just a regular illness. Uh, Tina, did you accidentally do this with your magic trick? Uh, uh, seriously? How could you even think that? Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Tina! Darn! What do we do now? Cassie, I honestly didn't do anything. It happened on its own. I'll get to the bottom of this, my love. Ouch! You burned me! Sorry, I'm not used to you being the knight now. I'll find out who's behind this. Watch where you're going! Why are you guys so grumpy? We're night priestesses! And it's daytime now! <sighs> we wanna sleep! These night fanatics, I swear! Are you okay? Maybe you want some sunny candies? Wow! Daytime folks are the friendliest! Where's Nate? He's not feeling well. What are they talking about over there? Nate didn't show up at school? He probably got spooked by his new look. I told Tina this could be risky. I hope everything's fine. The main thing is nobody finds out she's to blame. To blame? So Tina orchestrated this? I'll confront her right now. She'll spill the whole truth. Well, hello there. Anything you want to spill? <laughs> no! Uh, no, nothing happened, seriously. Quit lying. I heard your chat with your buddies. What did you do to Nate? <laughs> Enough! <laughs> What's Zach got to do with this? I'm talking about Nate. He's turned into the night. <laughs> Zach turned into day. What? They swapped? <laughs> Casey. I'm sorry, I performed a ritual, and when we had a fight, I decided to get back at Nate and turn him into night. Are you <laughs> kidding me? You wanted to make my boyfriend a night creature? <laughs> well, yeah, you guys were getting on my nerves. What about Zach? I would never have cast a spell on him, but for some reason, he also turned. <laughs> That's it, I've had enough. You have to reverse everything. But how? I don't know. Do whatever you want. But Nate must go back to normal. Otherwise, I'll spill the beans to Zach that it's your doing. No, uh, please. I told him it's an illness. Then find the solution to the problem faster. Goodbye. Hey, Zach. Feeling any better? No. This isn't some ordinary illness. What if I'm stuck like this forever? Come on. Ah, watch out! You're gonna burn something! Uh, see, I can't control this power of mine. <sighs> Have some tea, it'll help. No, Tina, I've turned into daylight. This isn't a regular cold. Ah, ah, I accidentally beamed myself in the eyes. Ah. Knock it off. It's your birthday today. 
I'm not celebrating. The day's ruined. Yes, you are. Hey! Wrap yourself up! <sighs> uh, uh, will this go away soon? Soon. Just focus on getting better and stay in your room. Uh, uh, oh, turn it off! The light is killing my eyes! I'm really sorry. You're so cold. Sure thing. I'm a creature of the night now. I found out everything. It's Tina's fault. What? She did some ritual to turn you into a knight. Uh, seriously? Well, I'm gonna have a word with Hold her. Hold on. We struck a deal with her that she'll fix everything herself. And what if she doesn't? Trust me, she will. Her favorite Zack suffered too. <laughs> this is getting interesting. She messed up something and he's daytime now too. She'll definitely set things right. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't spill the beans to Zack. He thinks he's come down with something. What a load of nonsense. Poor guy, it's his birthday today. <laughs> <laughs> It is a day, not a night. We threw a party for you. Yeah, I already said cool, just incredibly cool. Now it's time to blow out the candles. What a weird cake, totally not my style. <sighs> All right, I just want to get better. <gasps> oh. What's this? He decided to snooze at his own birthday bash? This won't cut it. We gotta wake him up. Lame party. Yeah, Zach slept through his entire birthday. Oh, well, just hang on. Maybe he'll wake up soon. How much longer can we wait? Hey, wakey wakey. Uh, um, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> it's clear he doesn't care about us. <gasps> oh, me? I don't care. Uh, ah! Starlight. It's supposed to be a nighttime party. Are you like 40 or something? All right, I'm done. Zach is not the guy he used to be. Yeah, it's no fun hanging out with him. Well, no, uh, please wait. What's going on, Zach? Why did you ruin the party? Tina, <sighs> give it a rest. I'm sleeping. <sighs> Nate, come on, wake up. You were always so happy in the morning. Mm, yeah, that was when I was Mr. Daytime. Now I'm Mr. Nighttime. I don't need my beauty sleep in the morning. <sighs> Repeat after me. You'll wake up in a jiffy. Oh, um. Nate, what's the matter? Uh, my head's spinning. I'm practically sleepwalking. <sighs> Have some water. It'll snap you out of it. I'll go for my morning jog. That should shake off the cobwebs. You're such a trooper. We need to remind Tina about her promise. I can't stand seeing you struggle like this. Nate! Huh? Uh, sorry. <sighs> yeah, I can't wait for this to be over. But don't worry, I'll handle it. <gasps> <gasps> Darn, I don't even recognize him. This ain't my Nate. Good morning! Get up, it's time for school! Seriously? It's morning, I wanna sleep. Mornings are fantastic! I adore mornings. <laughs> You're annoying. You act like a parrot. Hey, I'm not a parrot. You totally embarrassed me yesterday. You overslept for your own party. So what? I'm not feeling well. I just wanted some sleep. You're not sick at all. You're just faking it. Go to your classes. You're acting weird. One minute you're saying stay at home, the next off to school. You ruined the party. Now I'm mad. Fine. I can see you're not in a good mood. We'll talk later. How do you even cancel this ritual? This book has nothing. I know. I'll contact the queen of the sky herself and ask her how to fix everything. Why'd you invite us this time? I need to set things right. You don't want Nate to be night? 
I don't want Zack to be Day. He's suffering too. We need to find out why Zack changed too. That's why we need to reach out to the Queen of the Sky. We'll ask her directly. Oh, you said she hates being bothered. We don't have a choice. Remember the chant? Mm-hmm. We summon, summon the, the Queen, queen of, of the, the Sky. sky. I told you not to bother me with trivial stuff. I'm sorry, but I've got a major problem. I performed this complex ritual and now I want to undo everything. What kind of ritual? Swap day and night. Have you lost your mind? Those rituals are irreversible. What? what? You should have thought twice before messing with such powerful magic. But I only transformed one guy, and my boyfriend, Zack, he got transformed too. Did you really think it would be that easy? There has to be balance in the universe. If someone becomes night, someone else becomes day. So how can we fix everything now? You can't. Live with it now. And don't call me again. No. Oh, how could I mess this up so bad? Okay, <laughs> stop crying. We'll come up with something. Casey's gonna kill me, and she'll spill everything to Zack. Then Zack! gonna kill me everything will work out no it won't i need to tell casey the truth hey tina where are you going casey we need to talk you promised to set things right or should i go talk to zach well, that's what i wanted to say i reached out to the queen of the sky what did she respond and why are you crying? This sounds really bad. I'm sorry. The ritual is irreversible. What? How could you? You've ruined my life. You messed up Nate's life, too. Cassie, knock it off. Oh. Uh, it's too hot. Uh. You've ruined my relationship for your own benefit. Casey, I told you I feel ashamed. What was that all about? A lunar eclipse. You're acting foolish. I hope you'll stop being so selfish someday. Oh, oh no, they'll never forgive me. And Zack still doesn't know the truth. <laughs> Nate, what's going on here? Uh, I don't know. I'm drawing symbols. What kind of symbols? Uh, I don't even understand it. They just pop into my head, appear in my dreams, and I see them everywhere. Nate, you sound like you've gone crazy. Uh, no, it's the power of night. I can do fortune telling now. Have you completely lost it? Do you even know that Tina messed everything up and you won't be able to be the daylight anymore? I don't care. I'm enlightened now. I see the future! Nate, you're not yourself at all. Where's the Nate who used to have party breakfast and jog with me in the mornings? Stop bothering me! You're not the same guy. You're not my boyfriend anymore. I've had enough. I'm going to spill the beans to Zack. Oh. Man, my temperature's at 40 again. What's going on? Ugh. Chill. Your daytime. That's our normal temperature. What are you doing here? To spill the beans. Your Tina's responsible for this. What? What's Tina got to do with it? Tina performed a ritual to turn Nate into a night creature, and you got caught in the mix, and you turned into the day. What? So Tina caused all this? I'm not sick? It's not an illness, buddy. You've just turned into the daytime. Unbelievable. How could she? She even played you for a fool. The ritual is irreversible, no turning back. No! I'll never be night again! All right, I'm gonna go have a word with Tina. Poor guy. He didn't deserve this. Tina! Uh, are you sick or what? I can't stand daylight. We need to talk like right now. Hold up! Calm down! I told you to stay home and recover! Why'd you come to school? Tina, you can't make up your mind! You told me to go to school yourself! 
And Cassie spilled the beans. You're a liar. Oh, no. What did she tell you? About the ritual, and that it's not an illness at all. Now I'm stuck in daytime forever. Zack, I didn't mean for this to happen. I thought only Nate would turn into a night creature. You should have thought before taking action. You've messed up the lives of a bunch of people. Zack, I'm sorry. No, Tina. I don't want to talk to you. We're done. I can't handle this anymore. Zack, no! I know that's what I was talking about. Look. What have I done? <laughs> Tina, calm down. <laughs> Cassie, hey, you see me or what? Oh, hi. Sorry, I'm just beat. Cassie, nights are awesome, you know? I'm into astronomy. Oh, really? That's interesting. Hmm, she's totally ignoring me. Have I become a nobody to her? Cassie, I'll be back soon. I get it. Maybe she's done with me. <laughs> Tina? <laughs> What's going on? Zack dumped me. He found out I turned him into a daytime guy and got mad. <laughs> Dang, that's rough. Uh, by the way, I know you turned me too. I'm sorry. It was a dumb prank. I thought I'd joke around and then change it back. <laughs> it's cool. Drop it. Uh, Cassie doesn't want to be with me either. I kind of dig being a knight. Seriously? Yeah, I'm getting into magic, astrology, and all sorts of stuff. I've even unlocked my third eye. Uh, no way. <laughs> Do you actually have visions? All the time. I can even see the future. Whoa. You're the first guy I've met who's into all of this. Can you read tarot cards? Uh, I'm learning. Um, how about we check when Tyler's gonna make a move on Ariel? Let's do it. Oh, Zach, how are you holding up? Not great. Tina and I called it quits. Whoa. Was it because she turned you into a daytime guy? Yeah. Now I can eat breakfast all day long. Plus, I'm always shining. All right, calm down. Being in the daytime isn't so bad. You don't have to stick to breakfast only. You just need to eat right to keep your energy up. I can't control it. Is this hot chocolate? Oops. My bad. <laughs> You'll get the hang of it soon. We can go for walks and do some sports together. It'll make things easier. You'll see. Sweet. I'm actually starting to enjoy being awake during the day when everyone else is active. Come on, let's get some fresh air. Check out how awesome it is outside and the sun's out. <laughs> nice. I'm feeling way better now. So do you realize everything's okay now? Yeah, I'm back to normal. Daytime is way cooler than nighttime. We've been reading our classmates' tarot cards forever. I'm pooped. Oh, same here. We need some shut-eye. How about we throw a nighttime party? Heck yeah, I love parties. Oh, I've never actually been to one, because I used to sleep at night. Wow, you're a real night owl. Maybe turning you wasn't so bad. Oh, exactly. Only you get who I truly am. Cassie, we're so alike. Maybe we should try being a couple. What just happened? Nate, that was so unexpected. Cassie, we're so alike. Maybe we should try being a couple. Why not? <laughs> Tina, I'd love to date you. I want to gaze at the moon every night with you. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What's going on? See, I knew you'd finally make a move on her. <laughs> Looks like I still haven't fully memorized those cards' meaning. Are you guys dating now? Yep. Now I'm dating Knight again. We're the perfect match. I hope Zach and Cassie won't freak out when they find out. Life. Don't hit me on my phone, yeah, I'll get back when I'm posted. They want to blackmail because they see I'm going posted. Wow! Hey, everyone. Mwah. Seriously? Are you a couple, too? Yeah, we realize we're a perfect fit for each other. 
I can see you and Zach are getting along well. Totally. He's just as much of a day as I am. We're perfect, Matt. <laughs> Dang. I can't watch them together. Do I still have feelings for Zach? <laughs> Nate, you're my superstar. Darn. Why does it bother me that they're together? Zach, you're my love. <laughs> and you're mine. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I should invite them to our party. Zach will definitely want a party like the old times, and I can win him back. You know, uh, we're throwing a party tomorrow. We're not interested. You'll keep the whole campus up again. Come on, Zach. We'd love to have you. Are you sure? Absolutely. Cassie, let's go. Seriously, we're supposed to be sleeping at that time. Mm, just a quick visit. I'm already missing the parties. Fine, but just for a little while. Thanks a bunch. We're in. Looks like my plan just might work. Now, your all time favorite jam nighttime party! Whoa! Whoa! I want to sleep. Uh, Cassie, Cassie, what's up? We got a party. Oh, you guys made it. How awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's the party peak right now. Get in on it. Yeah. Uh, woo! Oh, she's just not used to this. <laughs> Zach, come dance with us. Um, I can't watch this. I still love Tina. Wow! Look at Tina and Nate. They're kissing. Wow! I want that too. Uh, mm, mm, mm. <gasps> A kiss? Enough! Stop it! I don't want to see you guys kissing. What's the matter, are you jealous? Yes. Me too. Well, I am annoyed that you and Zach are together. Same here. Nate, I still love you. Oh, too hot. I love you too, Cassie. But we can't be together. I know. Zach, I love you. Tina, I love you too, but our biorhythms don't match. We can't date. Oh, really? Then get out of my party! Well, fine. I'll go! Uh, Cassie, can we talk? You said we can't be together. Bye. <laughs> hey, Cassie. What's wrong? Are you still crying because of the party? Yes. I can't stop loving you just because you're now night. Oh, and I love you. Mm. Nate, if only you could learn to be both day and night at the same time. Maybe that would make things easier. Mm -hmm. huh? What? What's happening? I'm like a knight. But I feel like a day. How is that possible? I don't know. It's because of the sun. With the sun, I gave away my love. And it did some magic. I get it. Now I'm half day, half night. I'm twilight. <laughs> we need to tell Tina and Zach about this. Quickly. I wonder if Zach will come back to me or not. Oh. Tina, um, hi. Uh, I realized I can't be without you. And me neither. Uh, I want to be with you, even though we're different. We'll figure it out. We'll come up with something. Uh, Tina, I love you. Ouch. It's nothing, really. We just found something out. You both need to know. What happened? We were having a romantic moment here. Look at me! I'm half day, half night! <laughs> I'm Twilight! What? How did you do that? Tina, attach the moon to Zack quickly! Now look! Oh wow! I can feel my nighttime abilities coming back! But I can feel daytime too! 
But how is this possible? It's some kind of magic. Congratulations! Now you're the Dawn Boy. <laughs> <laughs> now we can be couples. We just need to figure out how this works. Uh, will you come to the party tonight? Hosting a twilight party. What a cool idea. Totally. I'm not ready to sleep just yet. Twilight is our time now, you and me. We can spend it together. <laughs> <laughs> and our time is at sunrise, right? Well, yeah. You won't even have gone to bed and I'll be wide awake. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome we can be together now. And now, let's have a slow dance. This was an unforgettable adventure. We're together because after the day, twilight always arrives. After the dark night, there's always sunrise. And there I am. <laughs> Great, stop rolling! Oh, hey folks, we finally wrapped up the shoot and can chat with our awesome subscribers. Cassie, grab the camera guy and let's take a seat. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and first things first, dear subscribers, what do you think of our couples and characters? Which couple, Tina, did you dig the most? Hang on a sec. No? Let the guys uh, drop their comments first and then cool. we'll dive into it. Now, y'all drop your thoughts in the comments and we'll give them a read. We can chill and wait, right? Yeah. All right, hush, yep. hush. We'll just a bit. Uh, three, two, one, done. One. Yeah. We waited out. Uh, hopefully, y'all have answered. Moving on. So let's talk about these couples. No, what, uh, spell the beans. Uh, the couples are a blast. It was so unique how they swapped and then swapped back. Pretty cool, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm really loving the girls' looks. They're rocking them big time. Big time. They're really nice. And what Seriously, about the guys? Totally. Are their outfits not well, up to, to snuff? Zach is looking radiant. And Nate's going full on dark mode. Seriously, wow. Look, it's all yeah. good. But let's be real. You guys can't quite keep up with the girls. True the that. girls are killing it. Yeah. Oh, hold yep. on. We're, we're, a, just, we're a team like yeah. that. Showering compliments Honestly, on the guys, girls. Honestly, guys, y'all rocking those costumes, too. We all, all look fantastic right, all right, and stunning. Enough. So you have it. Nah, we're looking all amazing. Yeah. The girls are like goddesses. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely true. Hey, peeps. Let's chat about how your roles went today. Like, I wasn't vibing with my role because I was already on a night theme and I wanted to play something sunny. Or maybe I wanted to be the rain. We've never tried that before. Whoa. Natural oh, rain phenomenon, girl. you know? <laughs> Yeah. Maybe even a completely different superpower. Yeah. A whole new super role. Folks, share some interesting ideas in the comments. What new role we should I explore. I remember when Kitty set herself on fire recently. Yeah. yeah. That's the one thing yeah, I remember. but not rain, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, I kind of liked my role, to be honest. At first, I'm there sleeping all night, and then during the day, I'm just sleeping away. <laughs> well, it sounds like it's all about Zach. <laughs> That's all about Zach. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about that sleep life. Always snoozing and always late because he's snoozing away. <laughs> yeah, I love my sleep. I love grubbing, and I love sipping on water. You know what? I actually love sleep, too. That's the I think it's the best. Snooze. If you don't take sleep, then... I feel sorry for you. <laughs> so what about your I role? I actually liked my role. It was my first time being a night owl, and it was pretty darn interesting. Cool character, and I dug it all. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Thanks so your much. character totally suited you. And what about you? I really dug it, too. And don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments. You know, which superpower tickled your fancy the most? We're going to read every single comment, and maybe some of them will make it into our video. No way, they're all for sure gonna make it into our video. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> and if this video hits a million views, we're gonna read all your ideas and make a video based off of them. Send our videos to five pals and you'll be living the good life. Guaranteed. Plus, you'll have five more happy buddies. Oh, you yeah. rock. You bet, yeah. But if you don't send it, you'll have five more unhappy friends. See, it's better to send it. Um, you know what? We all really appreciate your awesome activity. Big thanks for that. And those of you who watch our videos all the way through, subscribe and hit that like button. YouTube ends up showing more of our content. Pretty cool, right? It's really cool. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. So it's Fantastic. super important to watch the videos to the end. Subscribe, like them, and don't forget to drop comments and share them on all your social media. Huh? Hey guys, speaking of which, we've never had sunsets and sunrises on Team Teen before, have no. we? This is a whole new time of day we for us. We had day and night, but yeah. 
Hey, Whoa! folks, did you miss us? And guess who's back? <laughs> hey, we gotta sit down. We're actually heading out. Okay, well, we have stuff to do. Uh, you can keep chatting. Yeah, okay, we're off guys, to handle some girly gotta business. Gotta freshen up a little bit. See you later, bye. Uh -huh. So, there's a twist. We just arrived and did a little freshening Busy of ourselves. Busy bees. <laughs> You know, we have been thinking we've never had sunrise and sunsets on Teen Teen, just day and night. But twilight and dawn, it's um, it's like they're on opposite ends of the spectrum. Those are absolutely somewhere in the middle. The middle. Wait, Seriously, absolutely. we need some twilight scenes. All right, that's enough it's of that. It's kind of like <laughs> we filmed twilight scenes. Twilight is a completely different video, We're folks. There's no reason to bring it up. I'm from twilight. twilight. Exactly. And you know what? Finding that sweet spot, that balance, it's a, it's a part of everything, and we found it. And it's You're interesting. You're partnered up with Cassie, yeah. and I'm with Tina. You know what's interesting is what kind of superpowers could we have? It's intriguing. Why did you get the hot chocolate? That's when I was the sun, when I was the day. But when we're both day and night, what superpowers could we have? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, stop it. Now stop For it. Example, Come on. While the guys are trying to figure out which superpowers they have as a, a twilight and a dawn, write your ideas in the comments and whether they can be dangerous. No! Why are you talking about something negative? With superpowers, they could be superheroes, not just do something bad. It's cool, right? Kitty, kitty, did someone bite you? What's going on? <laughs> You're shouting. Yes, kitty. I just don't want them to belittle and humiliate day and night for the sake of justice. <laughs> day and night, no need for that. You guys don't need I it. I still get the feeling that Nate and Zack as characters are a bit on the mean side. They could use their powers for not so noble purposes. I have a slight hunch about it. I don't have that well, feeling. Well, you do seem a bit suspicious. A seriously? Yeah, no, a definitely. <laughs> hey, folks, please comment. <laughs> he <laughs> seems like a character. Might do something suspicious, huh? <laughs> closer to yeah, the camera, Nate. Get closer. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to read your comments, pick the most interesting one, and in one of our upcoming vlogs, we'll check it out, discuss it, and maybe even make a cool video based on your idea. So what are we going to do? And film? of course, we'll do our oh, best to bring your idea to life. Oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm on board with that. Uh, I think it's a fantastic idea. You'll uh, you'll help us brainstorm a whole video, and you will be thrilled to see a Team Team video inspired by your idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, did you guys hear that too? Oh. It uh. sounds like someone's calling. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. 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 Go go go! Uh. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Rumor has it, even in the heavens, that someone hasn't subscribed to the channel. Oh! oh. Why? Seriously? Come on. Guys, subscribe, please. Just even subscribe. Even the queen of guys knows it, about right? it. Well, she's not joking about yeah. this. You should definitely subscribe. I will subscribe. Drop whatever you're doing and subscribe right Heck, now. Create a few extra accounts just to make yes. sure you're subscribed. It's for your own good. Have you seen the queen of the sky? She's... Woo! <laughs> so this is no joke. Let's not let's not get on the bad side of the queen of the sky. Just hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. And we'll send you to watch, watch our... Loop. Hold on. Turn the camera to me. I can see you haven't subscribed yet. Subscribe right now or there won't be any bloopers. Seriously. Oh. Hey, folks. Hey, I guys. you all hit that subscribe Don't button right Don't miss out on this, moment. folks. Please subscribe. Yes. Let's go. Oh, oh, I subscribed. Just subscribe. Wow. Send this off wow. to you. Wow. Wow. Well wow. 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 Those were some unforgettable moments. <laughs> Trying to throw a party during the sun sunset. <laughs> Surprise! Wait, wait! I can't. Don't look at me. But I am. <laughs> Hey everyone! <laughs> and you with the glasses, let's take them off together. <laughs> she forgot. Oh, oh, oh.